Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about everything that is going on with me at BlizzCon. I'm super excited because I haven't even told you guys all of the things that are going on yet and that's what I'm doing today. Also stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win a virtual ticket. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do remember to rate it thumbs up. you guys believe that BlizzCon is right around the corner? I'm kind of freaking out about it. I'm so excited. And for the first year ever, I feel like I'm going into this not feeling a whole lot of like crippling anxiety. Maybe it's because I've done it a few times. Maybe it's because I'm on anti-anxiety medication. Who knows? But either way, I'm really, really, really excited for BlizzCon this year. And there is so, so much going on. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you guys about, which is really silly, is that I actually have freebie giveaways for BlizzCon this year. So we have a sticker of Pickle Panzer. We have a sticker of Diva Kitty Panzer. And we also have a sticker of Rain Barf Panzer. I have like 1,500 of these. So if you see me at BlizzCon and you want one, ask for one because they will be free and available. And as far as people who are not going to BlizzCon, there will be opportunities to get them in the future. So do not worry. Do not fret. On Thursday, I will be hosting the Wowhead Party at the Hilton Anaheim, which is the one right across from the convention center. That is from 6 to 10 p.m. Pacific time. If you would like to watch it, it will also be live streamed at twitch.tv slash wowhead. If you are going to be at BlizzCon and have not done it already and would like to, you can pre-register for the Wowhead Party using the link in the info below. So do that because it's going to be a real good time. We have tons of giveaways this year. And what the most exciting thing for me is, is in the past couple years, I've been very, 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 very involved in the Wowhead Party to the point where I was almost doing like too many jobs, just wearing too many hats. And uh, this year we got a lot of help from Method Dairy to really do scheduling and VIP stuff. And it freed me up to do a lot of other stuff. And I'm even going to have time to like sign autographs and do a meet and greet at the party, which I'm really, really excited about. But all in all, it's just going to be so much more structured. Oh, and we have an actual like crew to do the live stream and the filming and the audio and stuff. So the quality should be phenomenal. Um, we've got tons of special guests. Um, from Method, some of your favorite streamers and YouTubers and content creators, cosplayers, professional gamers, you name it. We are going to try to get in there and we're just super excited. So if you're going to be at BlizzCon, please stop by the party, get a drink, have some fun. If you're at home, you can watch it live and there'll be prizes for you to win there. And um, oh, also, so Wowhead did a bunch of cool stuff this year so that not only will they have the enamel pins again, but we also got like the Velcro badges that you could put on the BlizzCon bags. So make sure that you're, you know, asking staff at the Wowhead party how you can win one of those because they're pretty cool and I was really excited that they did the badges because that was my idea. I was like, oh, oh, they're doing these Velcro badges. We should make Wowhead one and then it happened and I was very excited about that because most of my dumb ideas that start with, oh, oh, kind of get just missed because dismissed, not just missed, dismissed because I have the enthusiasm of a sugared up toddler and people, it's a lot for a lot of people really. <laughs> So then Friday, BlizzCon is actually officially started. I'm super excited. I will be spending the majority of Friday in my hotel room. So I will watch the opening ceremony and then I'm planning on making videos for reactions of any cinematics that come out, a recap of the actual news and stuff that we learned during the ceremony. And then I will head to the convention. And if I have any spare time at all, I will be spending it with you guys, signing stuff and taking pictures and doing meet and greets and giving out hugs and fist bumps and whatnot, but uh, then I'll have some interviews with developers. I'll be doing one with Wowhead and then one on my own. Um, from there, I will head down to the floor because I have an interview that I'm not exactly sure when or where it'll be airing on the virtual ticket, but it's an interview for the virtual ticket where they'll be interviewing me about um, the thing that I'm doing at the convention. I'm actually doing two things, but the first thing that I'm doing is at 6 p.m. on Friday, that's 6 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, I will be judging the community contest night alongside Johnny Cruz and Darren DePaul and I'm so friggin excited I think this is gonna be like the funnest thing of all time as you guys know last year I hosted the World of Warcraft Q&A and I did okay but I was also a mess like <laughs> it was it was the first year I had ever done anything like that in front of a crowd anywhere near that size and I didn't have an earpiece so <laughs> which caused me a lot of problems because I, I had no way of communicating with the camera people or you know even being able to like hear the developers talk so a couple times I spoke out of turn because I didn't know that someone else was speaking or 
I thought they were done and they were not done. Um, or maybe the monitor wasn't on the correct face, so I thought it was time for me to talk and I couldn't talk. It was a whole thing, but I did the best I could and Blizzard appreciated my efforts because they did invite me back to do something again on the main stage, so I must not have been that awful. And I'm super, super excited that I'll be judging the community contest because I think it's just gonna be 100% fun. It's not really about, you know, getting answers and grilling developers and doing this super serious, heavy thing. It's just fun and I just get to check out all the cosplay and I get to watch all the people in like the talent part and the videos and I just I'm really really excited I think it's gonna be a blast plus I get to hang out with Darren DePaul and Johnny Cruz for a little while and I might even meet Chris Hardwick and I know like everybody's like you're going to meet him for sure because he's gonna be on the stage but I'm a very socially awkward person and I try to avoid people that I think are more important than me so like unless he's nice and comes up and introduces himself to me I am far too awkward to ever introduce myself to him so I will keep Keep you informed on what goes on there. I'm lucky because I've actually already met Johnny Cruz and Darren DePaul at other conventions. I met Darren at San Diego Comic Con and I met Johnny at uh, Indie Pop Con this year. So at least I already know them. It's going to be less weird for me. But sometimes you guys forget that I'm the weirdest human being on the face of the planet and I'm terrible with human beings. So that's a thing. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if Friday I'll be doing any parties afterwards because they think Friday is like the Discord party. But truthfully, I'm not sure yet. It'll depend on if I have any leftover video work from the morning. It'll depend on what time I actually make it out of the convention center. So I'm just, truthfully, I'm not sure. We will see. Okay, so this is a thing that you guys don't know about yet, but I'm super excited. So on Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, I will be hosting the Living Your Passion uh, Creating Blizzard content panel. I'm super excited. I've got some amazing people on the panel with me. I'm not allowed to say, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who else is on the panel because I'm like the moderator of the panel. I'll probably be speaking the least of anybody if I'm doing my job correctly, but um, there's some amazing content creators that are going to be on this panel and I'm so, this is the thing I'm like most excited excited for for all of BlizzCon. That's from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific time, and I believe it's called Living Your Passion or Living Blizzard or something along those lines. 10 a.m. Saturday. Please, please tune into that. If you have a virtual ticket, you will see some of your favorite content creators up there, and it's going to be so amazing. I'm super excited about it. After that panel, I will be walking my butt over to the NVIDIA booth. I will be at the NVIDIA booth from noon to 2 p.m. I'll be doing a meet and greet, signing autographs, taking pictures, stuff like that, but there'll also be an opportunity for some people at the booth to actually play games with me. So that should be a blast. We'll also be taking footage for a video. So if you've ever like wanted to be like, hey mom, I'm on the YouTubes, that would be a great time to do it because I'll be taking video footage while I'm there. And who knows, I might end up staying a little late to that, but that is like an official meetup where you should definitely be able to run into me without having any issues. And I'm just beside myself excited. Then after that, I'll actually have some free time. So between two and like five, I'll just be hanging out. And then after that, I'll probably be getting ready for the closing ceremony because I am going to go watch Muse. Um, and that's my plans for BlizzCon this year. I'm super excited. So just to recap, on Thursday, I will be hosting the Wowhead Party from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Hilton Anaheim. On Friday, I will be busy in the morning, but then I will also be one of the three judges for the community contest at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Then on Saturday at 10 a.m., I am the host or moderator of a panel called Living Blizzard, Pursuing Your Passion. And then I will be at the NVIDIA booth from noon to 2, and then I'll be free kind of for the rest of the evening. So you guys should have lots of opportunities to meet me if you would like to do that if you are going to be at BlizzCon and I am just so excited. There's going to be so many good announcements this year. I can just feel it. I think we're going to get an expansion. We're going to get cinematics. There's going to be all sorts of good stuff happening, I think. And I'm just really excited to be there and meet you guys. And I'm super excited about the clothes that I'm wearing because day one, I'm wearing like a casual Jaina getup, which I'm really pumped about. And then day two, I thought it would be kind of cute to do like a casual Dreadlord just as kind of a for the memes sort of thing. So I'll have pictures of my outfits and stuff. I kind of went a little over the top but isn't that what I do? And you know what's funny is the whole Jaina thing is because my hair is like so light right now and I was going to dye it for BlizzCon, but I kind of like it light. So I'm just leaving it for now. But yeah, that's all the things that are going on. I'm super excited. Also, I feel really bad for those of you who stuck around just for the virtual ticket giveaway. But if you go to the description of the video, all the way at the very bottom, 
bottom, there will be a Gleam link. And all you have to do is go enter on Gleam. There'll be a few different ways to enter. And I uh, will pick a winner on, I won't pick a winner. It'll be like randomly selected on Thursday. There'll be five winners total who will get virtual tickets, which includes, of course, access to the virtual ticket, but all of the in-game goodies that you get as well. So keep an eye on my Facebook and my Twitter for other giveaways that I may have going on. And I think that's all the things. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope that you are as hype and excited for BlizzCon as I am and I hope that you have a good time attending it or watching it or I don't know, maybe you're actively ignoring it. If that's what you're doing, I hope you have an easier time than you're probably having right now doing that. So yeah, that's all the things. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all so much. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.